What if I told you the Sukhoi Su-57 has a maneuver that even advanced NATO pilots admit is nearly impossible to react to? A move hidden behind layers of classified testing, glimpsed only in rare airshow footage and scattered training reports. Today, you're about to witness the secret move that turns the Su-57 from a stealth fighter into a shape-shifting predator. While most fifth-generation jets avoid turning battles, the Su-57 embraces them, thanks to a hybrid stealth agility design no other fighter uses. But the secret move you're about to learn isn't part of any official airshow routine. It appeared only twice, once in an early test flight. To understand the maneuver, you first need to know the battlefield the Su-57 was designed for, unlike the F-22 or F-35, which rely on pure stealth to avoid fights, Russia expected close-range chaos, dogfights in cluttered terrain, infrared missiles fired from blind angles, enemy drones flooding the sky. So Sukhoi engineers gave the Su-57 something no Western fighter prioritized agility at post-stall speeds. But agility alone is not a weapon. The problem? Extreme maneuvers make a jet bleed energy, fast, lose speed, and you become a floating target. So how does the Su-57 perform a move so violent, yet recover instantly? That question baffled analysts for years, until the leaked footage surfaced. Here's the twist. The Su-57 didn't perform a Cobra, not a Colbert, not a high alpha pivot. It did something far stranger, a bi-directional vector snap, where the nozzles point in opposite directions for a fraction of a second, causing the fighter to rotate on an off-axis plane. In simple terms, the jet slides sideways while still pointing forward. Western pilots informally call it the ghost drift. Here's what was actually happening. For 0.4 seconds, the engines vector outward. This creates rotational torque, not a line to. The nose. The wings momentarily lose lift, but the engines push the rear into a controlled micro slide. During that slide, the pilot can aim the nose without following the aircraft's momentum. This means the Su-57 can fire at a target not in front of its path, but beside it. The ghost drift isn't just about aim, it's about breaking lock. When infrared missiles track heat signatures, they expect smooth motion. But when a jet suddenly slides sideways, the missile's predictive algorithm collapses. In tests, similar off-axis slides caused IR missiles to overshoot by tens of meters. Combine this with the Su-57's lack of a single hot exhaust plume due to nozzle shaping, and you get an evasion tool no one anticipated. Imagine a dogfight, two jets circling, each waiting for the perfect firing angle. Suddenly, the Su-57 slides sideways, the nose stays on the target, and an R-74M2 locks on. To the enemy pilot, the Su-57 appears to teleport off-axis. A burst of flares, a vector twist, a sideways drift, and the fight ends in under three seconds. This is why some analysts call the Su-57 the first stealth jet designed to win knife range fights. Did Russia officially confirm this maneuver? Of course not, but the clues are everywhere. The test pilot call sign Burkett once mentioned, unconventional off-axis control. A Sukhoi engineer said the new flight computer allows dynamic torque routing, and the 2018 clip, it vanished too fast to be coincidence. Every hint points to the same truth, ghost drift exists, and it is real. Countering the ghost drift requires a jet with fast angle of attack response, high thrust, and predictive missile logic that can adapt mid-track. In other words, very few aircraft can match this move. The best counter? Don't fight the Su-57 in its preferred range. Force it into high-speed BVR territory, where stealth not agility decides the outcome. The Su-57 may not be the stealthiest jet on the planet, it may not have the largest fleet, but in one specific domain, extreme off-axis maneuvering, it stands alone. And the ghost drift proves exactly that. A maneuver so strange, so aggressive, 
It bends the rules of modern dogfighting. If you want the full breakdown of how this move compares to the F-22's power loop or the F-35's pedal turn, just tell me.